Hi everybody, it's Jordan and Jess here. We're two of the account managers at Kick Dynamic. Uh, thanks for joining our webinar. Um, today, for the next half an hour or so, we're going to take you through some of our favorite campaigns that we've set up in the past with our customers and share loads of interesting ideas and things that you guys could do um, over Christmas as well. It might only be October when we're recording this, but um, and I'm more of a last minute shopper, but hopefully those of you listening are planning ahead of time and are ready to get cracking with Christmas. So we're going to take it away with some of our best ideas, um, starting with um, our latest product, which is live polling. It's a great thing to use for Christmas around asking your subscribers what they would like for Christmas is a great way to use this product. You might want to collect what category they would like to hear more about. So you could have a poll saying, are you interested in receiving information in the lead up to Christmas about electronics, home products, health and beauty, garden products. And then customers can vote on that in real time. The percentages are going to update. Um, and you can also use that information in a more meaningful way. So this is a great way to increase engagement um, within your emails, whilst also gathering valuable data from your recipients. Um, as you can then use the data from the live poll to send targeted follow-ups to all of those engaged in the live poll, showing them then live shoppable content that they're really interested in purchasing. Yeah, it's a great engagement piece as well. So people do really get involved with this when they see it in an email. We see a high engagement rate and lots and lots of people clicking. So really good way just to get a bit of a boost before Christmas starts. Um, Another great thing um, that I love as well, you know, the excitement of December, the 1st of December opening your advent calendar, that first chocolate, you know, it's always exciting, no matter how old you are. Um, and showing that similar thing in email is really, really strong. So you could do a live advent calendar that updates every day that the email is opened. So throughout the 1st to the 25th of December, um, you could show an advent calendar updating live with different offers, different products behind each window. Or in this example, you could just do the 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, it's a great idea and it's also really, really simple to set up. So all you need is um, 12 different images from your design team. These can also be gifts as well to make it look a bit more jazzy. Um, and then you use the rule builder within Kick Dynamic to set this up. Um, so what's really good about it is that each deal being shown that you see as it moves day to day it will allow you to click through and purchase the product that's behind that door. So this um, example that you can see is a real life customer example. They did the 12, do 12 days of Christmas and each day the creative updated to show a different offer behind each window, which we're just showing in that animation there. Um, so on a similar note, the countdown to Christmas deals um, is really exciting. So providing a live countdown timer, counting down to perhaps Christmas or any offers ending around your Christmas period, or even you could use this counting down to your Christmas sales. So Boxing Day sales are super, super exciting for many consumers. So a countdown to those sorts of events to build the urgency and to really get your customers onto your website and um, purchasing products over that entire period. And times work, so we definitely recommend doing this. Um, and what you can do also is once it reaches zero, so either the offer's up or if you're doing a countdown until Christmas and we reach that big day, you can swap out the expired timer with a different image and a different message, change that URL behind it so you're still um, converting those engaged in that email. Yeah, so actually a really good way to do that is to have a countdown maybe to Christmas Day to kind of build the urgency around, you know, buy our products, buy your presents before Christmas. And then you could just swap that time out to say Happy Christmas once you've actually reached zero. It's just a nice little touch if anybody opens once that time has expired. Um, and this is just an example from a customer. Um, they had a banner featured in all of their emails on the lead up to Christmas that just had a live countdown, just showing the number of days and then all of the Christmas content around it. Just a really nice, gentle little touch in the email, um, which was really engaging and just a nice way to really engage with customers. So the next suggestion we have is one of my favorites. I love to see this in an email. So it's device targeted call to actions. What you can do is set up rules around if somebody's opening on a mobile, so that's either a tablet or a mobile phone, they're going to see messaging that's going to entice them more to click through. So things like tap to shop, over shop the collection if they're viewing it on a desktop. 
over 50% of people open on a mobile, so this works really, really well to capture that audience. Um, what we've seen from our customers using it is up to a 15% increase in click-through rates on mobiles when seeing the tap to shop button. Um, so definitely a quick win here. Again, a really easy setup for you to do. Yeah, um, and another great thing you can do with that is kind of taking it further to actually personalize those device targeted calls to action. So this is something that a few of our customers are setting up at the moment. Um, and basically you can use your first name data to personalize the call to action. So if I open on a mobile phone, I'm gonna see a button that says Jordan tap to shop. If I open the same email on my desktop, I'm gonna say Jordan shop the collection. So it's just a really nice way to introduce personalization, but also to make those device targeting buttons really specific and contextually relevant to the environment the email's being opened on. Um, and on the note of personalized images, um, you can also personalize things like hero images. So take the same kind of first name, and build that meaningfully into your images. So this example you can see on the screen is a kind of a, a basic idea of it. But you can get really specific and, and build that first name onto anything. So it could be you know, if you've got kids, a letter to Santa, if you know their kids' names. It could be um, a present from Tag, you know. Um, it could be kind of anything in the hero image that's just going to really capture attention and add that little personal touch. A really great thing about personalized images is that you can also use all of your own custom fonts and everything. Because we're personalizing the content through the image, you're not restricted to any fonts. So we've had customers using candy cane fonts, we've had customers using snowflake fonts. It can look really, really beautiful because you're not restricted to website fonts and things like that. So you can absolutely get super creative and make this a really eye-catching, cool piece in your email. Yeah, we have a lot of fun with what we've got yeah. with our customers around Christmas. Yeah, so this is a, a nice example. Um, this is actually um, from our customer Asda and they personalise names over stockings that hung on the fireplace. So just a really subtle, nice way to, to personalize. And also actually the name is on, on the sack by the fire as well. So in this, in this email, you're getting your name over a stocking and your name on a big sack of presents ready for Christmas morning. And again, another thing you can do is alliteration. So this is a kind of cool, quite cute way to, to greet your customers. Um, you can build rules around alliteration. So I would receive this email. It says Jordan's Jolly Christmas. You know, if somebody called Mark got it, they would get Mark's Merry Christmas, Adam's Awesome Christmas, however you want to do it, however those rules might work for you, you can build that in to kind of get a bit of wow factor. So another suggestion of ours is to do a countdown to delivery end. So this is a really great, great way to inform your customers of the last chance they'll be able to make a purchase and get that delivery in time for Christmas. So all you need to do is just build a countdown timer, set the time that it needs to count down till, and then that timer is gonna tick down each time that person opens that email. And once the timer's up, like I said, you can swap that image for something else, or you can actually hide that section completely um, to let customers know that they will no longer be able to purchase and get their bits in time for Christmas. Yeah, something we've seen from um, a lot of retailers um, using this is that they actually build out kind of a timer and a creative that is um, X amount of days until standard delivery is over and then they'll swap out that creative and then say, oh, there's, it's only next day delivery now, so you know, it's 24 hours until the last opportunity for next day delivery. And then once they kind of have reached that next day delivery, they'll swap all of that messaging out and they will show something like shop in store, which leads me on to my next suggestion, which is showcasing a nearest store um, in your email. Yeah, so this is a really huge focus from retailers, we found um, how it's hugely important to drive in-store traffic through your email channel. So this is a great way to com combine them too. Um, around Christmas, you might be running in-store promotions only, or there might be a random pop-up store. So this is perfect for that. And what you can do is target your recipients at city level. So depending what city they're in, when they open their email, they're going to see a map of the city that they're in with pins all over it where the nearest stores are. And then on the click, they're going to receive exact directions to their nearest store. So this is great if you've missed um, Christmas delivery time, you can actually get di direct your recipients into store so they can make that last minute purchase. And here you'll definitely see an increase in engagement in your email and footfall into stores. So it's kind of a win-win really for all of our customers that use this. It's great for people like me who leave Christmas shopping to the last minute. Um, get me to the stores. <laughs> um, so 
we have provided loads and loads of different ideas, but another great way to keep your email super relevant um, is to use things like day parting. So we can detect what time emails opened and show the correct content based on the time of day. Yeah, so here you can use it to personalize your hero images or your messaging or even things like recipes for the time of day that somebody's opening that email. So it's just making sure that your content is highly relevant to the time of open and also personalizing it to that recipient. Um, so I think this is a really great idea, especially when people are looking for Christmas inspiration. It's always nice to open up that email and, you know, relevant to the context, it will always be up to date. Yeah, so if you look at this example on the screen now, if you got this email on Christmas Eve, for example, you opened in the morning, it would say, here's your last, your guide to last minute stocking fillers. You know, it might give you some inspiration to pop to the shops to buy your last things that you need. Then if you open between 11 and four, which is kind of Christmas lunch time, on Christmas Eve, you're gonna say, get a message that says, is Christmas lunch sorted? You know, it's gonna prompt your memory on anything you might need to get. And then, you know, if you open between 4 and 10 p.m., if you're anything like me, that's definitely drinks time on Christmas Eve. So I you feel like drinks see. time is the first thing in the morning. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're just looking at how we can make those emails as relevant as possible every single time that they're opened. And changing the messaging is really, really powerful. So another thing that's, that's really great to include um, on the lead up to Christmas, when everyone's kind of looking for inspiration, what do you buy that really difficult person? Or, you know, even if you just want to treat yourself, what, what you can do is take popular products like hot products, trending products, and if you have a feed of those, you can include that in your email. So we can connect that up and every single time somebody opens that email, they're going to get popular products in that email every single time it's open. So, it could be products that somebody's added to their basket. So we see customers that have a live feed of products that are being purchased on their site. We can take that feed and just pop it straight into the email. So it's really, really great for product discoverability. You know, I might open that email and see a product that I'm not gonna see if I've browsed on your site, but if I see it in that email, I might click through and buy it for that really tricky person. On a, on a similar note, um, Instagram is a great source of inspiration for many people. There's lots of beautiful imagery um, that all brands kind of put on their Instagram. It looks great. So taking that content and putting it into email so that it updates live at every open is really, really strong. It's also a really good addition for people that uh, maybe have a small team and don't have the resources in-house to update that every single time they want to send an email. You just connect up your Instagram and then whenever that email is open, it shows the latest content, which means that actually the content that's in there is always up to date. It's always on trend. So as your kind of Christmas period unfolds, that's going to be mirrored exactly in your email. Another way to go one step further on this is to do a live shop the look. So those of you that use third party tools such as Olipic or Candid, and you've got an API from them, which is already connected to your Google Shopping feed. You can get that live into an email, so you can actually make that live shoppable content. So I don't know about you, but I always shop, and I'm kind of really interested in the products that I see for kind of everyday people using, so it's a great way to get some extra Christmas inspiration. Next up is download app buttons. So as I spoke a bit before about the app targeted call to action, this is set up in exactly the same way. Um, you can target those opening on an Android or on an iPhone, the specific app download button. So this is a really great way to streamline, streamline your download process. Um, and then you can also set a default where if they're opening on a desktop, you can actually opt to um, completely collapse that. So they're not showing that image whatsoever. Yeah, it's a great way to think about omni-channel. And if you're gonna push people to shop through your app before Christmas, um, it's a really good um, way to promote your app download kind of in the first few days of December to then encourage people to swap to the app to do their shopping. And obviously that then gives you push notification options and lots of further um, engagement options there. Another great idea is um, 12 days of Christmas inspiration. So I love this idea. There's a, a few different ways you could run it. So you could do it a deal a day for 12 days where the hero image is the product that's on the, on the deal at that point in time. And then you've got the other products at the bottom that are coming on offer the next day and the next day. Those products could also be blurred out. It's entirely up to you. But essentially, you would set this email up once, you would send it every day, and each day the recipient opens, they're going to have the 
hero product that's available on offer for that day, and then the next deals that are kind of upcoming for the, next, for the days after. Or alternatively, you can do it on an hourly basis. So 12, 12 hours of Christmas deals, for example, works really, really well. Um, and I know some of you guys watching will be waiting in anticipation for things like the Boxing Day sales. I know that's a huge day for retailers and we frequently hear that a lot of our customers have some of their biggest trading days on Boxing Day. So this might be a really nice way to, to tee up everything for Boxing Day sales, to have a deal an hour for ready to go for Boxing Day when people start opening those emails. And with the nature of this being live and the countdown time, if you do choose to, showcase the other products that are coming on sale in further hours you'll definitely see a spike in your open rates and people will go back and reopen that email to be able to be able to shop that content yes it's super interesting actually sort of changing the behavior and the way that people interact with your email through these sorts of offers like jess said we do frequently see people who showcase hourly deals seeing spikes in their open rates every hour as people check back in to see what products um, then become available. I think that's that's loads of loads of ideas that you can pick up and take away from this webinar. Um, I think a lot of them are very quick wins, very easy to set up, um, and really really great. Um, probably in my top three would be um, the delivery. So countdown to delivery to make sure that that's really relevant. It's a really good customer experience to tell people what they've got in their emails, like in terms of when the delivery dates are, you're setting their expectations, and then swapping that out to a nearest store once your delivery windows are closed. Yeah, and that's a really strong um, example. And I love all the personalization. So all the personal touches on personalized images, personalized calls to action. Christmas is a, you know, it's a time for family and engaging with, with the people you love. So we want to kind of put a little bit of that love into your emails. Um, and again, trending products as well, I think that's super hot because you can set it up and literally every single time somebody opens an email, they're going to see hot products that are, you know, are going to be relevant to them, you're helping them find the right gifts. So that would be my top three. Um, yeah. yeah, I hope we've provided you with some inspiration and you've got quite a few things to pick from. And if you do have any further questions on how to set these up, like Jordan said, a lot of them are really quick wins. Um, so just give us a shout and we'll be able to help you um, in setting some of these up. Thanks. Okay, guys, thanks for listening. Have a great Christmas if we don't get Yeah, happy Christmas. <laughs>